The last couple of weapons I want to talk about, one was J.D. McKissick. You already mentioned you think he might dip a bit, and he had 110 targets last year. That was number one among running backs, and second in terms of running back receiving yardage with nearly 600 yards. You thought he's going to get a little bit of his work at least taken. Do you think it's going to be drastic enough that he's not even an asset at all in fantasy? Because that's where he's getting drafted right now. People are seeming to assume he's going to be completely erased. Do you think that's the case? Uh, Gibson's going to completely take over? Or what do you think of McKissick after last year's explosion? Yeah, that's my concern is that he, he pretty much will be irrelevant. You know, I went and got him in a dynasty league when Smith took over and I won a fantasy championship last year. And, and I kind of laugh and say that he's the reason why. I mean, he was catching like 10 balls a week for a few weeks in the playoffs for me. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, it, it's going to be a, a considerably smaller role. I really believe that. Um, in terms of just being on the field, number one, and then number two, again, Alex Smith was just, you know, he get snap, look for McKissick, throw the ball to him. It, the numbers that stand out to me in this regard are, and I don't, I don't have them in front of me, but Alex Smith was like dead last in the NFL at throwing the ball shy of the six. He did it yeah. 20% more than anybody else. And Ryan Fitzpatrick is always one of the top guys in the league at throwing the ball beyond the sticks. And while that isn't specifically just saying you're not targeting running backs, it tells you a lot about that. So, yeah, I would sell on McKissick. I would go under just about any totals. I will say that I have kept him on my dynasty roster. And the only reason why is, I, you know, if you have, for whatever reason, like an injury to a Gibson, I think right away what would happen is he would get a lot of the work on passing downs assuming he's still on the roster. So that's kind of the, the one avenue I see to some production, but at the start of the year, I would not, you know, draft him and sim or anything like that. Intriguing indeed. Yeah. I think you're in line with a lot of what people are thinking heading into the fantasy season. What is up you fantasy wolf. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already share your thoughts in the comments, check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh. Mm -hmm.